This is old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about, oh, the internet, that big, huge library we call the internet. And we're going to be talking about what the internet is and what it isn't. Ooh, we always think of the internet as a huge resource guide or a huge library. Oh, it's absolutely, it's like, uh, it's like the, the Library of Alexandra. All the knowledge in the world is on there, but there's a problem with all of the knowledge in the world being listed in a library. What's that? If you're not looking for something, you're never going to find it. Well, isn't that why they have categories sometimes? Like uh -huh. sports or entertainment, okay. there are different sections. If I go into any library in the world looking for John Wayne Westerns, am I going to find William Shakespeare in a subheading? Probably not. If I go into a library looking for Jeff Gordon, the auto racer, is it likely that I will find Jeff Gordon under Olympic ice skating? Mm -hmm. so. But if you go into the library and they have a sign that says, special for today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, um, special book signing by. <laughs> by, then you'll find them. But the, the trick is, are, you know, um, that most people dealing with the internet don't understand why, for instance, they have products they're wanting to sell. Um, or like this right here. If you're not looking for old camera, not a spring chick, or not looking about for what the internet is, you're not going to know that this has ever been done. Mm -hmm. You have to be looking for either one of us, Monty Bubbles, or the fact that what is the internet and what is not the internet. That was the only reason you're going to find this, folks. One of the things we're discovering about the internet is, I mean, we, we discover this all the time with media, whereas when you want to find some information, what's the first place, where do you go? You go to the internet. Yeah, but here's the tricky thing. Okay, but I okay. I am. They say, well, I can't. You know, like they got a thing, a phenomenon called gifting suites in Southern California. A phenomenon. Where if I use my family name, I'm not welcome. Mm -hmm. But if I were to use my real name, I'm welcome, mm -hmm. because my family name isn't really on the internet. Well, that's that's part of it. Is they go to the internet as a resource. It's mm -hmm. kind of like if. It's like if you're not listed on the internet, well, you don't exist. That's right. And, and I hate to tell the people out there that the majority of the people in the known universe are not listed on the internet because mm -hmm. they're not important enough to be listed. Mm -hmm. My family name is not important enough to get me listed, but my stage name is. Mm -hmm. My stage name is got God, it's got a zillion listing. I mean, I just did my 1,000 news program. So I'm listed there. She's listed all over the internet under her stage names and her real name. Mm -hmm. So... So you can find, but the problem comes is my name is Semple. Hers, her family name is like, there's there's nine million Joy Cells out there, really. Not, she's Asian, you know. In the case if you see one Asian with that name, you see a thousand. But um, it, it, the internet, like it, we know people, basically yesterday we're talking to people that are being grumped at. Well, this website isn't doing as well as we thought it should be doing after a month and a half. Well, that's because nobody knows the website exists. Mm -hmm. You can do um, things, I mean, for instance, we have done news items that we thought were going to be absolutely great. Nobody came to see them because there wasn't anybody looking for them. Mm -hmm. We just did a movie review on uh, a hot topic, and I mean, the movie basically opened this week with, uh, with one of the best openings ever in the history, especially movies. Nobody is looking at the review because no one is going to look at the movie. Well, also, it has to do with timing. I mean, think, for example, like we've had Rose Parade coverage. We've had, and it was, there were so few people looking for it. We're like, why are you even bothering? And then all of a sudden, it's the Rose Parade, and then everybody was watching. We ran we out went of bandwidth. Out we had to go buy more bandwidth because we get, we're getting like, we're popping off a million views a day. But it's one of those things where we were, you know, we'd done all this work, and we thought, oh my gosh, it was such a waste of time. But part of it is when the timing was right, it went like wildfire. Yeah. But it had to be there to be able to catch on fire. That's right. Um, it's just a, it is a, it's a repository of knowledge. Um, like I said, um, what we did, we did a thing on Larry Hagman that did well, but then it just like that. And then when Larry Hagman died, all of a sudden they yanked out the Larry Hagman stuff and it's all over the place again. Mm -hmm. So there's no explaining things. We've also done things that basically have no okay here's another thing is that everything on the internet is basically stolen unless you say specifically don't do it they take your information off so here's one for you they people. include the copyright yeah. we're learning they include the copyright but here's for the bean counters which basically don't like the fact that um, that basically what can happen is that 
you can put one thing up and it's been reproduced by a thousand other sources. There's a thousand and a thousand and a thousand and a thousand. As right now we're discovering because we got one of our sites is basically, uh, it, it really, it just caught fire in the last week. And uh, it's not, not off the original thing is there. It's off the things that people have picked up. Mm -hmm. And are basically it's multiplying exponentially on other on what's been installed. But we put a Creative Commons because we actually want people to actually see the items. So, and that's how it works. And it, it, bean counters hate it because they can't count the other stuff. Mm -hmm. They can only count the original hits. And the original hits, you know, you, you, uh, guys that are doing the bookkeeping should not care about it. If like for instance, we do have over two hundred and forty million links out there, folks. Well, that's when we counted it last time, and then we stopped counting. We stopped counting. And, and, and it's expanded much more than that. That's not views, that's links to content we've produced? Yeah. No. Because we've got more than 14,000, we've produced more than 14,000 things mm -hmm. in, a, in our existence, more. And um, mm -hmm. then, so you can't count, like, uh, okay, you say, well, well, he's got, he's got 1,266 uh, appearances as a performer in front of the camera. That's not the news people, that's a performer. Who the hell is he? And then you go, you see the Chinese people come. Oh, take a picture. You, you, I like that. You, you make westerns. You are more famous than Tom Cruise. It gets to be sort of the Chinese. Oh, can you take a picture with my mother? You know, and then I don't look the same as I did thirty years ago. They still recognize. They recognize you. me, yeah. So, but it doesn't. If they say, well, he's got no IMDb, but he's still been on. He's still been in movies. And TV over. That's before that was because it was before they started mm -hmm. doing IMDb. Because what happens is too is that they don't understand older performers unless they're A or B performers don't bother with IMDb today because they're not working. Well, the other thing is is IMDb in the earlier years. Well, actually before IMDb started, but the movies when they got credited, what they had the top five or they ten had the performers, top five or six and performers they, included. And, and, and other that, than that, what happened was the company. What happened was after I stopped doing a lot of work, the union requirements started requiring that everybody that has speaking parts or something in a movie go look to IMDb or the internet, and you'll see, uh, you'll see like uncredited on a, a lot of these things were uncredited. Well, they were in the movie like I was, but they were uncredited. A lot of times, for instance, I was credited as somebody else who was supposed to have been in a movie mm -hmm. that didn't do it. They never bothered to change the thing. So since I never cared, so I'm not going to go back to change and go, I could sit there for the rest of my life and oh, I was that uh, blonde-haired German private in this episode of Con, you know, I, I'm the blonde when speaking to Ron Sobel and Eric Braden, mm -hmm. who used to be at Con's Gundas. So, but uh, she's the same way, that basically she had, a, we're talking, she had another career before she became, you know, before she came, went back to her degree, which was in broadcasting. And that career is is now, you know, they're starting to put stuff out from that career, but you can't find, you know, you, you know, you, you can't find the listings in between. And she had a whole life in between first career and this career. That's not even listed on the internet because mm -hmm. it wasn't relevant. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's, it's, what I mean, it's about the internet. It It's a really god awful great resource guide but it's only a resource guide for what you're looking for. And he said, and the subtopics doesn't make any difference. I mean, like I said, um, if we go to the internet and we're not looking for Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie, or a movie that Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie has been in, you think we're going to find Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt? Probably not. No. I mean, um, you think that uh, other than France, anybody was looking for Jean Dujardin? before he was in the artist? No. I mean, this guy had a long career in France as a really a great singer, dancer, performer, and out of France they didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. So they wouldn't have been looking for him. Or, you know, so if you, it's a simple thing. If you go into a library and you're not looking for something, you're never gonna find it. So for those people out there that basically were criticizing a poor guy yesterday, that's really working his butt off about well, we're not getting the reception for this website that we should be getting. It's because you got like 12 articles in a month and a half, mm -hmm. and nobody know you exist. Mm -hmm. That's where advertising comes in, mm -hmm. and volume of content. We what people really don't understand is our main our main website is not MBN News Video Web, but it's MontyBubbles.net, which has two and a half gigabytes of material sitting on it. 
two and a half gigabytes. Written. Yeah, written. There's no video. There's on no it. video on it. No parts would have broken. They can't even get into that anymore because it's so. What happens is we would do stuff and we put so much content up, you couldn't load any more content to that part. So we'd go to another section, another section. There's like 29 different sections of the original website. So, but um, only the newer sections can be loaded to. But um, it's still, you know, like it, you know, in conclusion, is that if you don't look for it. You're not going to find it. Okay. And, and, no. <laughs> and, and, and until the next time, this is okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com, which is our commercial site, or www.montybubbles.net, which is our big site. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over hundreds and hundreds of millions of links on the internet. Meanwhile, of course, come like us on Facebook under Monty Bubbles Network and come follow us on Twitter at Monty Bubbles.